Hello everyone, welcome to Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services. It's a video on daily news and editorial analysis, which I'll be covering from the Hindu and Indian Express. So the important news and editorial that are relevant for the preparation of civil services examination will be discussed in this session. Let's get started with the news topic list. Today is 17th of February. The first important news that is center planning to set up fact check body. An institutional setup will be there to ensure that the fact checking is working. Second, India account for 52% of world new leprosy patients. Third, no age bar to register for cadaver organ patients or transplant. Fourth, Prime Minister inaugurated the mega national tribal festival, which is also known as Adi Mahotsu. And the last is an editorial, deep sea face conservation must not go adrift. Again, a brilliant editorial that will give you insight about the part of Supreme Court judgment and how we need to ensure that the deep sea face conservation should be taken care of. Apart from the news and editorial discussion, at the end of this video, there will be MCQ based questions. These questions will be based on current affairs that will help you for the upcoming prelims examination. So without any further delay, let's get started. And before I begin the session, those of you who are new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services on YouTube. If you like this video, if you find this video informative and helpful, do not forget to press the like button. Starting the session with the first news, that is center planning to set up fact checkup body. Fact check body, and this is important for gender studies paper 2 under the subtopic that is the government policies and intervention for the development of various sectors and issues arising from a design and implementations. So in this regard, the union government or the central government is planning to set up a network of fact checkers for online content and ask several social media giants to submit input on building one. So there will be an amalgamation and collaborations from different stakeholders that will be taking into the part of fact checking. So the news that will be authenticated will and the verified news will be only required and uploaded in several domains. The government has also asked the companies to provide suggestions on the criteria that should be followed to determine a trusted fact checker can be. So there are a set of criteria that will be mentioned for a fact checker and a set of SOPs will also be there. Standard operating procedures will be given in ministries so that they will follow. Kare. Now, the draft amendment to the information that is IT intermediaries guideline and Digital Media Ethics Code 2021, which we have already made a discussion in our several initiatives. So this provide a platform which uh, aims to remove and identify the fake news by fact checking by the agencies which is authorized to do so. In India, for time being, we have PIB fact checking. We'll see that on the later part of the video. And this agency is doing fact checking after the new rules that is also there established way back in 2019. Now, what is fact checking body? So the network will function as a self regulatory and flag any kind of misinformation that is in trending and even on internet that is not related to the government, right? So even not only specifically for government, but any news that is impacting society to a large will be taken into consideration. The companies will be asked to submit their inputs in the next few days. And even a closed door meeting with the Ministry of Electronic and IT is planned. The meeting was called to discuss the ministry recent post on regulating fake news on internet. Now suggestions, ki agar baat kare, suggestions from the stakeholder will be definitely taken into consideration. The stakeholders meeting will take place and the suggestions will be accordingly uh, incorporated by the ministry itself. And it should also link that the deems to a fake news and share with the government for a periodic basis, which will then be used in order to block all those links. So, as a koi bhi links, jo ki abhi presently operationals mein unhe identify karna, usse shortlist karna, and finally submitting a report to the government so that government finally take a decision to block all the web links and addresses. The stakeholder should also request has actually requested the government that the network, the part of the network that is operating for the fact checking, it should give an, you know, an interest for the public. They should give the reason that why 
the particular news websites blog or video was actually blocked taki ek misinformations mein jo classifications hain wo logo ko pata chal paye so these are the demand and suggestions from the stakeholders now pip fact checking unit ki agar baat kare so the pip fact checking unit was established by the press information bureau which is uh, working under the ministry of information and broadcasting uh, this started in 2019 and it take cognizance of the fake news both suomoto and by the ways of query sent by the citizen on its portal through email or any social media platform the unit respond to the relevant queries with correct and updated informations now moving to other news india account for 52% of world's new leprosy patients something important for gender studies paper 2 under the sub topic that is issues related to development and management of health So despite India's declaration of leprosy eliminations in 2005 the country still account for half of like 52% of the world uh, new patients which is there so the data is there the global leprosy situation for 2019 you can see India account for close to 56% which is currently at 52% which is again half of the population now leprosy is a chronic bacterial infection which infects skin nerve lung and eye so these are the major body part which is affected due to leprosy now there is a national strategic plan and road map uh, for the government of india this is a vision for 2023 and 27 with a renewed focus to tackling leprosy the union health ministry has devised a strategic road map for achieving zero cases of infection by 2030 and this will be also ensuring ki jo sdg ke goal hain us target ko achieve ki jaye so india is looking forward to achieve the target of leprosy mukt bharat jo ki government of india ki ek important program hai by 2027 india would ensure that ki sustainable development ke jo targets hain use meet ki ja sake before the desired requirement that is by 2030 and to a larger extent it should provide a support system to the citizen of this country now impact of covid 19 ki agar baat kare according to the health official the earlier gain that was made in the leprosy program was reversed during the covid 19 a sudden decline in the case detection numbers were noted to jo numbers of uh, report ki jati thi case detections mein usme bhi kafi had tak giravat dikhi gayi the covid 19 pandemic the case detection has dropped by 43% these are the data the authentic data and 34% by 2022 right compared to the pre covid level which was earlier there and the annual detection rate has halved from 8.13 cases per lakh populations to 4.56 cases in 2021 now grade 2 disabilities ki agar baat kare there is a grade which impact the in leprosy there is a different grade that is actually functioning so the health ministry has noted that the decline in the detections has led to the increase in the patients with grade 2 disabilities and covid 19 in india has severely impacted the cases of leprosy as i've told you i've given a data also and a hidden cases of a probable increase of grade 2 disabilities is there which may delay the attainment of the goal for zero leprosy so even uh, the government of india has set target for 2027 and as per the sdg goal target is concerned this is for 2030 to a larger extent government will focus make a holistic policies that will ensure that the target is met well before the time now total of 1863 grade 2 disabilities were detected among the new cases of leprosy for 21 and 22 now the cases that is there in india specifically agar kuch specific states ki baat kare jo data hai that is by the national leprosy eradications program nlep jise kehte hain the state that is state of bihar Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, West Bengal, and Jharkhand account for 76% of the total new leprosy cases. Very important factual information, which will be again relevant for your mains examination. Now, according to the World Health Organization, uh, close to 1 lakh 14,451 leprosy cases were detected in the country in 1920, which account for 80% of the cases that is reported in the South Asian countries. so very important point and make sure if you are writing make this answer a data driven answer now if you see the state part the states that have recorded maximum leprosy case in 3 year that this is what the report is for uttar pradesh bihar maharashtra west bengal chatisgarh odisha and jharkhand and this is again by the report which was published by 
the National Leprosy Eradication Program. If you want to fetch any of the data, you can take it from here. If you're appearing for any specific state public service examination, even you can use this data. Now, moving to the other news, no edge bar to register for the cadaver organ transplant, something important for general studies paper two under the subtopic that is the government policies and intervention for the development of various sectors and issues arising from a design and implementations. So the union government is working on one nation, one policy for organ donations and transplant in India. In this regard, the union health ministries has held a consultation with the state government to come up with the operational guideline and other changes in the organ donations. And Union Health Ministry ne ye ka hai that state not to charge any fee against the provision for the transplantation of human organ or tissues rule 2014 case ups. Now the state like Gujarat, Maharashtra, Kerala and Telangana has been charging a fee of registration that will be charged after the changes right so that will be again uh, changes will be made and the government of india have put directives to all state government to exempt from any kind of fee now what is the advantages of the changes the changes in the guideline will help the patient seeking transplant organ from the deceased person in any hospital in the country or a specific state it will ease the process of uh, transplantation and donations in the country and the current changes in the guideline have been put in the websites of NOTO, which is an organization looking care for the entire transplantation part. So, you can see the details of NOTO. Details bhi dekh le. Uh, this is something important for the prelims examination. Now, organ transplantations, ki agar baat kare, jo data hai according to the health ministries, the number of organ transplantation has increased over three times from 4,490 to 15,561. There is a specific organ transplant that is in demand. Talking about kidney transplant, the kidney transplant of the living donors has increased from this much 3495 to 9835, right? Or if uh, deceased donors have increased, now the second organ is liver. The total number of liver transplant has increased from 658 to 2957. And again, for deceased person, it's increased from 240 to 761. Now, lung transplant. The number of heart transplant from 30 have increased to 250 and from deceased person it's increased from 23 to 138. So if, if you can use this data relevantly required in mains examination, you can accordingly put this data. Now organ data is a fax ki kar baat kare. Living donors, a living owner can elect uh, the part of his organ to be donated and a deceased person organ allow his organ to be donated. An organ that can be donated is like uh, the part of organ. The organ and tissues that can be donated by a living individual is parietal intestine, kidney, partial lung, partial liver and partial pancreas. And by the deceased person, it can be heart, liver, kidney, intestine, lung, cornea, pancreas, bones, tendons, veins and ligaments. So Spain has the highest number of organ fact, like for the last 28 years, I count for 6% of the world donations. Kidney was the first human organ that has to be transplanted, followed by the heart and liver. And India has 0.8 organ donors per million. And the US population is 36% and Spain has 49.6%. And India ranked third in the world. And Tamil Nadu tops in the list of the state of organ donation and transplantation. So this is very important uh, image that will give you a lot of factual information that will be relevant for prelims as well as for the mains examination. Now, saving lives, ki agar baat kare, these are again data that we have discussed. If you want, you can take this screenshot for better revision purposes. Now, moving to the other news, that is Prime Minister inaugurated the Mega National Tribal Festival, which is again relevant for Gender Studies Paper 2, basically. This is relevant for Gender Studies Paper 2. That is welfare schemes for the vulnerable section of the population by the centre and the state government. So recently, the Prime Minister has inaugurated the Adi Mahotsav, which are known as Mega National Tribal Festival. The Prime Minister has emphasized that the country is moving to an unprecedented pride regarding the tribal glory. And very important, if you're writing in general studies paper 2 as well, this will contribute a lot. Examples, mein aap is ki ko use kare. those of you who are having anthropology as an optional will be uh, again very relevant. I noted that the tribal community in India has a lot to inspire and teach with regards to the sustainable development. 
प्राइम मिनिस्टर ने इस पे फोकस किया एंड आदि महोत्सव इज एन अटेम्प्ट टू शो केस द ट्राइबल कल्चर द नेशनल स्टेज वेद द सेलिब्रेट द स्पिरिट ऑफ ट्राइबल कल्चर क्राफ्ट क्विजीन कमेंस एंड ट्रेडिशनल आर्ट एंड क्राफ्ट इट इज एन एनुअल इनिशिएटिव फॉर द ट्राइबल कोऑपरेटिव मार्केटिंग डेवलपमेंट फेडरेशन लिमिटेड नोन एज ट्राइफेड जो कि मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ ट्राइबल अफेयर्स के अंदर काम करती है राइट ना वन धन मिशन की अगर बात करें द एलोब्रेशन पार्ट ऑफ द वन धन मिशन दैट इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इन फॉर्म मोर देन थ्री हंड्रेड वन धन केंद्र हैज बिन स्टैब्लिश एंड अबाउट नाइनटी माइनर फॉरेस्ट प्रोड्यूस्ड हैज बिन ब्रॉड अंडर द एम्बेट ऑफ एम एस पी विच इज लाइक मोर देन द नंबर फॉर टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी Vandan scheme is an initiative by the Ministry of Tribal Affairs and Trifet and it was launched in 2018 which seeks to improve the income of tribal people and giving an additional value to the tribal products and there is a PM Vishwakarma Yojana jo ki is budget pe launch ki gayi in the latest budget of union budget 2023 and 24 the the prime minister Vikrama Kaushal Samman that is PM Vikas to help craftsmen to expand and reach the quality for the creators under the scheme the economical assistance will be provided as a part of skill development and support marketing of their products now this is uh, the basic infographic which is there it is uh, if you are in delhi you can check out it is there in major dhyan chand stadium near india gate and the major attraction is handloom traditional tribal cuisines and the part of tribal millets and forest produce Now moving to the editorial of the day, deep sea fish conservation must go adrift. Something important for general studies paper three under the subtopic that is the conservation, environmental pollutions, degradation, and AI. What are the issues under this editorial? About the theme is deep sea fish conservation. First is about the conservation and conventions, the regulation of fish methods. की बात करेंगे on selective fish technology and how the conclusion can be made in this regard. Now recently the Supreme Court has given a relief uh, to the fishermen of Tamil Nadu but allowing them a purse sign fishing beyond the territorial water which will be allowed within the exclusive economic zone so what is purse sign fishing I'll, I'll show you an image that will give you a clarity about the method of the fishing so this is what is the purse sign meeting method of fishing where a large net is used and the fishermen with the ship they actually tied and they go for the part of exploration and even the fishing activity is taking place now the purse sign fishing involved a methods where vertical net which i have shown you this particular net which is there now it, it deep down to uh, the part of the sea and uh, even it, it it take a length and breadth which is permissible where it is attached to a target vessel to a dense fish and open to a Uh, no curtain formation of bottom where it come closer to the fish and even it appeal fees to reach out maximum to them now the supreme court of india has permitted for the purse sign fishing beyond a territorial water which is 12 nautical miles within the exclusive economic zone and 200 nautical miles of tamil nadu but observing certain restrictions to it but this decision by honorable supreme court has called for a lot more cautions from the expert regarding the sustainability of the oceans and the marine ecosystem now conservation and conventions ki agar baat kare dono segregated topics hai first looking to the part of the convention the supreme court should seek guidance and obligations arising off of the multilaterals and regional convention jahan pe sustainability of fish practices ki baat ki gayi hai bahut sare aise laws hain jo ki already functions mein hai agar baat kare un clause ki that is united nations convention on sea of uh, law of seas uske article 56.1a aur 56.1 B sub part three में ये बताई गई है that coastal states have a sovereign right to ensure that living and non-living resources of the special economic zone are used, conserved and managed and not subject to over exploration. Very very important point. Uh, this will be very much relevant for your mains examination. Right? Mains part में ये काफी ज़्यादा important. now according to the june the foreign fleet is also solely will be coastal state now this discretion and subject is with regards to the laws and regulation and even to prevent the over exploration there is a rule in the coastal state that is known as total attachable uh, total allowable catch known as tac aur uske alawa eez jo special economic zones usme article 61 
और अनक्लोज की जो रूल टू है दैट इज ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडिंग साइंटिफिक एविडेंस विच इज अवेलेबल राइट नो दीज वुड बी अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यूर राइटिंग यू हैव टू इनकॉर्पोरेट दिस इनपुट्स इन योर आंसर नाउ द कन्वेंशन फॉर द पार्ट ऑफ सदर्न ब्लू फिन टू ना विच इज देयर has been sourced from the top code which should enable the part of depleted fish stocks so the tuna fish ki baat kare it's a big fish which is again taken into consideration and should be given more focus on the part of sustainability now the tac and sbt right which is there should aim at putting the sustainable use of practices which should maintain the maximum sustainable yield so stb stand for southern bluefin tuna and tac stand for total allowed are allowable catch which is there you know in terms of uh, catching the fish in the coastal state specifically now regulation of fishing methods ki agar baat kare there are international legal efforts that are gradually moving for the directions of abdoning the large scale pelagic nets right and many restrictions are there uh, basically supreme court ne kaha monday to thursday they will be doing from 8 am to 6 pm after which it will not be allowed but again the huge net the perch sign nets which is of 2000 meters in length and 200 meter in depth has a maximum catch of the perch signers in leaving behind insufficient catch for the traditional fishers jo jo traditional fishers mein hai unko problem hogi because there will be a mass uh, fish that will be already taken care by this net now there are several regional organization that is either prohibiting the part of large drift net and called for the tawara declarations of south pacific forum now there is a non selective fishing technology the court in the final judgment need to look into the part of non selective fishing methods because ye methods ke through agar per signing jo resultant hai usme kafi aise species hain jo ki endangered hai wo bhi aa sakte because of the large net what happened not only fish but many endangered species can also be the part of this net and even there will be a loss of the marine ecosystem now there is a gat article that is 10b 20b that covers the necessary human animal plant life which call for mentioning the environment explicitly now to conclude this part despite the best conservation measures which were there for the fishing method authority need to adopt a challenge by dealing with the limitless character of the seas and render a common resources such as fish should be available for exploration for all not only for a big giant it should also be there for the small and marginal uh, fishermen which is doing them for the livelihood options and the poor sign of the tamil nadu must also note the freedom to common to bring rune floor and must comply with the conservation measure so the sustainability of the environment and the marine ecosystem should be also taken with a priority by each and every stakeholders moving to the mcq questions of the day before i proceed just to tell you the answers of your study questions for first question the correct option is c for second question the correct option is d today's mcq for practice that is shore kiran uh, is between india and which of the following countries sri lanka bhutan nepal and indonesia so do check it out for the correct option now the second is e20 fuel is uh, there in the reference aapko the statement to consider karni hai e20 fuel is a 20% blend of ethanol and 80% of fossil fuel based fixed engine are used that can run in any ratio of the blending from e20 to e100 so do check it out for the correct options this was all about for the daily news and editorial analysis followed by the mcq questions if you have any other concern you can reach out to us we'll be more than happy to assist you for time being i'm signing off thank you so much for watching this video